Here's a shot of the ratcheting arm up on the mill vise. Uh, this pin right here is a driving pin that pushes against a ratchet. That end right there pushes against a ratcheting gear. Uh, this would get screwed down through the slot right there. The slot's all weathered out and as you can see it's really sloppy in there. I can't get a good shot. Uh, but as long as I can do is just come down with an end mill, clean that all up. Uh, I've already got a new pin made and lever or a little arm made. Uh, being at the casting on this thing isn't quite square. On the back side of it, I got a piece of wire right there, pushed on both sides and clamped down on it, and it seemed to work out pretty well. It's uh, holding in there pretty good. Uh, mill this out and see how it goes. That was pretty quick and painless. Uh, had the spring in there, the driving pin in there, and a little leverage, leverage. arm, and seems to be working pretty good. Next I'll do is fit it up onto the press and see how it all works. After that, next thing I'll have to do after <clears throat> do a little dry fit and see how it works over there is uh, that's made out of 01 tool steel. That's at, I think this is 4140, I don't know what it is, but I'll be hardening that. And after that, I should be able to get a full assembly of everything. Here's what's left of the wheel for the left side of the arbor press to wheel, to wheel the ram up and down. A uh, number of years ago, they were throwing out this wheel. It's a cast iron wheel, roughly 12 inches in diameter. They were tossing out at work. Uh, it had pre two holes pre-drilled into it, one on this side, one 180 degrees around it. Uh, didn't have no way of holding it, so I tossed up this right angle plate, made a bushing that sits on the ID of the slots and then the ID of the wheel itself. And right now, I'm just getting ready to tap it out.